What's up guys, Chris Kane here, let's play of Being Her Darkest Friend. This is an interesting little point and click game that I found on Game Jolt, it's got really good high reviews, and uh, I did actually play, like I would say, maybe the first five minutes of this game, and I, based off that, I knew I had to finish it on video, so I thought you guys might like it. Uh, it's a little unclear what's going on, but it has some really interesting like little mechanics that really makes you think on how to approach this. You know, you can't think logically in this game, at least in the first few minutes. A sculpture of a woman. Where am I? It's pitch black. I can't see anything. Yeah, so like I said, this game is really, uh, you, you'll see later. But uh, I really do like point-and-click games. You guys really seem to enjoy them. Those are in lights. Their eyes? Oh. Tomoko. Is that you? Is it? She's not answering, but she seems to be looking, yeah, she look, she's looking at me pleadingly. It's not like her. She's afraid. What are you afraid of? If I interpreted her gestures correctly, she longs for a place of comfort and safety to her. <laughs> My camera. Tomoko, what am I supposed to do with it? Do you want me to take pictures of something for you? What do you want me to photograph? You're asking something that only has been nodding and said no, nothing. What? What? Where am I? Tomoko, where are you? Did you send me here? I can't move. These empty easels, they've got me surrounded. They're blocking my way. Alright, so yeah, this part took me a while to really understand what was going to happen and I knew that this game was going to be weird. Peter, could you help me? Typical, no reaction. I don't know who Peter is, but she seems to know. So yeah, we can't move, despite them being easels, and we can easily maybe squeeze through them. What you're supposed to do, before anything, you can't interact with anything from a distance. Like, you can't take pictures of anything, but maybe we'll try taking pictures of the easels. The easels turn translucent, but I still can't move, so we're just going to have to keep doing it. But yeah, this is one of those point-and-click games that's apparently supposed to promise you a, like at least 40 minutes of gameplay, and it's not very easy. But still, so far, it, it was really fun for me to play it. But yeah, I, I, here's how I know this is going to be some fantasy bullshit. Now they're gone, so I'm free. Free to move really anywhere. Apparently I have to photograph something for Tomoko. It should be something that conveys safety and comfort. Maybe something familiar? I wonder if Peter could help me. Hello, Peter. He's not reacting. But he's staring at the paintings with a crazed look. I think their emptiness reminds him of his own artistic failure. There's a glint in his eyes. It is pure lust to kill. If he, uh, if he could, he'd kill somebody. Maybe... S Somebody who made his life a living hell in the past. You could tell that by just looking at his eyes. Um, so yeah, just gonna experiment. I got a suspicion. All the empty paintings suddenly vanished. How about this thing. The easel is blocking my way out of the gallery. On the canvas is a freshly painted portrait of S Sigilman. Sigilman? It's a little... It's a Gilman. He looks like a saint. Let's get rid of the easel as well. Smile, Professor. What? The easel didn't vanish. What's different here? What's in here? Empty waste bin made of metal. Looks pretty solid. It could probably stand a lot. <laughs> Portrait of Singleman. It's only loosely attached. I should take it with me. I think I know what I have to do with it. Okay. 
does he want it? Like I said, it's been like a week since I played this. And I downloaded it and been waiting for a time to play it. Is this the one you wanted to mess up? He ripped out the portrait, threw it on the ground, and jumped around, uh, around on it. He seems to feel much better now. Peter vanished. Did I redeem him? In like, Tomoko's favorite spot. And he was just in the way. How about now? I'll take a picture of Tomoko's favorite spot. I hope that will do something. I got the photo. What? Oh? I'm back. Alright, does he want this now? This is as far as I got, by the way. Here you go. That's your favorite spot. Sell it without... Uh, Thanks to Sigelman's low-life low life students. Do you feel better now? Oh. Did something change over there? Alright, well, let's head over then. Oh. Now who's this? Hi. Who's hiding behind the eyes this time? Show yourself. Oh. Oh, it's Mr. S Sigilman himself. Professor? Do you want to take revenge on me? Doesn't seem so. But his expression is demanding. Oh my god, he disgusts me. He disgusts me. Professor, what do you want? Do you want me to bring you something too? You think I'm... You think I'm going to do you a f this favor after everything you did to me? <laughs> what the hell's that? A paintbrush? What does it do with the paintbrush? Do you want me to start to paint? You want me to paint another painting? Forget it. What did he? I guess we'll find out towards the end of this what he did to her. Oh wow, that's creepy. Oh, not again. What did Professor, uh, I'm pretty sure it's not Sigilman, but Sigilman, eh, want, what did he want? What am I supposed to do for him? Oh, the students, they're all lined up along the wall. What does this mean? Let me just talk to him. Hi. I can't stand these ignorant guys. And the way they idolize him makes me sick. Huh. I feel like I could probably guess the implication on why she doesn't like the professor, but we'll see. Do I paint a mustache on his face? Maybe I can use it to change this grisly, this grisly painting. <laughs> He's changing into something else. Something fiendish. That doesn't surprise me. Pimper seems to have the ability to uncover the truth. Ooh. Oh? The portrait of him has vanished. The canvas is completely empty now. So we can move it now, right? It should theoretically move. And unlock a new area. The path is clear. Oh, the reception room. No, oh. What? This, okay, wow, alright, anyway. Lips painting. Beauty between. Burning cigarette. It's still glowing. As if it's only been lit for a short while. This isn't anything, is it? Hey, she was talking about this earlier, but I just checking. We don't take it with us? Okay. Alright. I'll bite. What's the guillotine for? I mean, I know what it's for, but... Mrs. Secretary, what happened to you? The guillotine is close to decapitating her. How horrible. Are you gonna do anything? I can't free her. The guillotine isn't moving one bit. Alright, let's try some things. Who should I show this to? I don't know. Well, just take it. Take the picture. 
don't want to paint this. A lot of suggestive themes here. This is crazy. A door in his office is blazing hot. Behind is incredible heat. That can only mean one thing. Single man. <laughs> a fire that has been going to consume everything in his vicinity. I have to warn everybody. What's the suggestive painting? <laughs> Let's not talk about it. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's what she says when you try to uh, put the camera on anything else that's not interactable. She goes, I need a reason for this. There's a fire. Save yourself from Singleman. What is she saying? Seems to be a big fan of his textbooks. Without his books, she wouldn't have a reason to be here anymore. I'll take that at its word. Or if we can we get rid of the books? Huh. Hmm. This bookshelf served me well. But I'm not looking for a book this time. I think. <laughs> I think. Wanted to depict purity. Hmm. Man is dangerous. What? I can't believe it. She says he wouldn't hurt a fly. If only she knew. I have to find a way to prove how dangerous he is. How can I accomplish this? I know how. Take a picture of the guillotine in there. Right? How about now? Does she do it? Of course. Has to be proof enough for the female student. I got the photo. <laughs> it's just happening in the other room, but she doesn't see it. But yeah, this is a... I feel like it's going to be a very dark game. Here. Is that proof enough? The professor is a, is a danger to everybody in his vicinity. I don't want... I don't want to know what his secretary had to go through. She vanished. I think she should be safe now. Oh, I guess we have to get rid of all of them. Oh, I think there's something just happened in the reception room. All right, we'll check that out first. Oh, that's not what I wanted to interact with, but... What happened? What happened? The fire got weaker. Okay. <laughs> Let me take a picture of this. This is so fucked up. Oh, the blade moves up. I have to warn the students some more. Alright, just making sure there's nothing else in here, right? What if I take a picture of this? That won't do anything, right? No. No reason. Maybe these will be easier to help, because she, like, apparently, getting rid of the books will help. You're in danger. Leave. She doesn't seem to believe me. She seems to revert, uh, his, revere his works of art. Nah, she's just idolizing the perfection of his paintings. I can't believe it. Doesn't she see the truth behind his pictures? Looks like we're going to have to keep running in back and forth in each room. Uh, I would guess that this would be the painting we need to take a picture of. No. What about this one? No. Y yeah, you did. That's true. Hmm. Oh, wait, no, this will help the truth. Uh, bring out the truth in the painting, right? Okay, maybe the other painting's in there instead. Like this one. Why should I change the painting? Is there a reason for that? Yeah, I thought. He's a danger to you. He doesn't seem to believe me. He seems to admire the purity of his of the painting. If only he knew. I have to show him the truth. There's the pure painting. Maybe this will convince him. Purity. <laughs> Reveal the true nature. Done. Now let's see what he thinks of that. 
This room's not very big, so we should be able to f do, do, be able to do this. Does that look pure to you? The dude's a creepo. Now he's safe from him. All right, let's check out the room again. Probably the uh, the what's it called? All right, that went up, and I guess the uh, the blade moved upwards a little again, and the flame went weaker. Right? Yeah. Uh, beauty between. Yeah. Still weird, the cigarette's still glowing, but yeah. How about you? Leave this place. She doesn't seem to believe me. She seems to revere his works of art. Now she's idolizing the perfection of his paintings. I can't believe it. Alright, that's what was said before. They all perfect him. Or they, they idolize him. He seems to despise me. He acts like an artist who has. He asks how an artist who has malevolent, a professor, could possibly be dangerous. I'll have to show him the truth. I should inspect the painting more closely before I change it. One of his paintings. I think the symbol, uh. It's supposed to be a symbol of perfection. And then this is what? Belevolence. Oh wait, no, I have to paint them, I think. Okay, so we had to actually examine them. Quite the opposite, if I do say so myself. Fuck that. And then finished! Let's see how clear and perfect his paintings are. Uh, let's do it one at a time in case we break the game or whatever. I don't know. Behold the truth. I like this. Now she's safe from him. She keeps saying that, but maybe we don't have to, because I already know what's going on. Malevolence? Don't make me laugh. I'm going to show the painting's true face. So that's it. That is his true notion of malevolence. I'm really interested to find out exactly what it is, even though I could probably guess it. What do you think of it? Almost got it. Alright, now let's go to the reception room. Because she, yeah, textbooks apparently is her thing. I can reach the bookshelves now. But the books are different than before. They're all empty. Only one has content. A textbook of him. I should take it. I'm definitely not going to read this trash. Got it. The book is heavy. I don't want to drag it around for too long. I'm guessing we put it in this thing. Throw that shit out. And I think I get it now, too, what the cigarette's for. This is cool. Take it. Uh, take it? Why is she taking it? Hmm. Didn't I see an object somewhere that I could use to destroy the book? I should look for it. This has to be that. Cigarette's still hot. Okay. Yeah. But still, watch, watch we play this and we find out that the girl is actually the, uh, <laughs> Eureka is actually the one who's trying to destroy an innocent man's work or something like that. Maybe this is all what she interprets it. I don't know. You can never tell with these kind of games, these dark games. Look, see, the, the book is burnt. Like, you ever play, like, a game and then the ending totally screws up what you thought blows your mind? But me, I'm ready for it. Now you're safe. She vanished. She's now safe from him. That was the last student. Am I done? Whoops. Well, let's go to the reception room. Ooh, what's that? 
Does that say Selena's painting? My. My masterful painting. Everything's clear to me now. The last thing that the professor would want to see. Perfect. Okay. Here, there you are. Take this and finally accept that I'm better than you. What the? What is that? Uh. They're gigantic. What are you? <laughs> okay, who do you think I am, Selena? You're my conscience? Far from it. Your conscience is pointing me at the naked fingers at me. What are you? D did you bring me here? Your being here is of your own fault. And I will. I am you. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's weird, though. Horrible thing. How can you be me? I don't believe you. I am you. I've always been you, and I always will be you. Listen inside yourself. Your whole life. No, your whole life I've been you. Are you my nightmare? Are you my nightmare? This uh, doesn't make sense. What am I doing here? What do you want from me? I want you to do something for me, yourself. No, to be more precise. I want you to do something for you. Oh. What am I supposed to do with that? Redeem yourself. What'd she do? What did... I'm back here. Is this ever going to end? Hmm. I'm supposed to redeem myself? What does that horrible thing mean? You mean you? What is that? Is somebody over there? Right bookshelf? Something... Something sobbing. Is it a ghost? Oh, a passage. That's new. Oh. Is that's her, right? Oh. That's me. I'm standing in front of an empty canvas and I'm sobbing. I seem to be extremely sad. Miles from my redemption. I'm miles from my redemption. I should help myself. But to do that, I first have to find out why I'm so sad. You don't even know? Huh. This place is a mess. It looks like a place from hoarders, almost. I'm not tired at all. Family photo. That's really small. They always bugged me terribly. But I actually... They were, always, they were always were for me and liked me, even though I was completely insufferable all the time. What other tiny objects do I need? Failed paintings. They're so bad. I should feel bad. Pieces of clothing. It's not even, it's not even that dirty. Okay, moving. All personal stuff. Mirror. Okay, I'm not supposed to stab myself, am I? Str oh, that's a smoke. I thought that was all like piles of clothes or something. Back of my apartment was... Uh, the back of my apartment was full of strange smoke. But I think it's best not to go there. Fresh canvas. Fresh, unpainted canvases. I guess I should start... I wonder. Could I... Could I paint normally with it as well? There's so much more important things to do, though. What if I give her that? I don't want to paint myself. What about the family photo? No? She'll eventually do something. I don't need a... I don't need a picture of painting Selena. Not at the moment. Hmm. Oh, 
god, I don't even want to know. No way. I'm definitely not going to kill myself. No matter how horrible things keep me here. I need to find out a way to redeem myself. Oh. That's really sad. Yeah, I don't want to cut the couch. Don't know what, uh... I'm going to have to just try everything. There's nothing left to save. Hmm. Take a picture of the mirror? Let's check this out. It's calmed down again. But wild horses couldn't drag me in there. Oh. I thought maybe that might do something. Why would you want to remove it? Well, tiny little thing. I got the plaque with Singleman's name. Okay. I think it says Sigilman. I don't know. Maybe I'm just saying it wrong. Hmm. It's pretty empty here. It's pretty empty here by now. Hope I'm finished soon. Yeah, we'll see. But yeah, I, I knew we might have to, like, leave. What does she think about it? I don't know if I should give myself this, this plaque to myself. I'm incredibly depressed. I'm almost ready to throw it all away. I keep looking at my failed paintings back there. I feel like an artistic failure. The paintings remind me of my in in ineptitude. I seem to think that my life's empty. I can't remember the past. I don't know who I am. I think I'm all alone in the world. Nobody thinks of me. Nobody loves me. Seems to be miles from my redemption. I seem to be miles from my redemption. Well. Which, uh... Oh, okay, she finally takes the picture with her. Uh, here. Actually, I'm not that alone. I actually got it pretty good. I should appreciate that a little more. Sigh. So she went from sob to sigh. Hmm. Nothing left to save. And goodbye forever. I finally destroyed my own crimes. <laughs> you called them crimes? Alright, so we're getting somewhere. I just had to interact a little something with something I haven't yet. I wonder, could I paint normal uh, could I paint normally with this as well? There's more th important things to do. What about now? Can I give this to her now? No, but the paintbrush. Hmm. Something else I'm missing here. I should rummage through these boxes now. I'm curious on what I'm going to find. Huh? My old diary. Oh my god, so many memories. I just have to take it with me. And I give it to Selena. Here. Remember? It's not empty. On the contrary. 
Okay, now what? Oh, now she's starting to paint. I feel better. Let's see here. What more can we do? What about this over here? Some fresh unpainted canvases. Uh, no, that's not it either. Probably have to give it to, uh, give her this now. I think. No, don't show it to her. What about now? Can we take a picture of her now? No. Destroyed painting. I'm painting again. My will to live is back. But it seems I'm not properly redeemed yet. But the canvas is it's empty. No matter how long or what I paint, the canvases stay empty. Maybe I have to paint a specific, maybe I have to paint a specific painting. Maybe that's going to redeem me. It's worth a try. I think I have to paint something that will give me the feeling that I can overcome all challenges. I think I already know what that is. I think I'll try to see if I can do my most recent masterful painting. This will, well, a second time. What did? What do I know? I'm a, I'm a perfect copy of my masterpiece. A perfect copy of my masterpiece. I need to give it to her. Take this as an inspiration. Does she like it? Do you like it? I'm supposed to paint a painting that depicts me mastering a big and also dangerous challenge. I should be in the painting. The one who challenges me should be in the painting. My redemption is within reach. So do I take a picture of myself then? With the mirror? Maybe that's it. This mirror is incredibly dirty. Okay. Maybe I have to get some rags. No? Okay, yeah, that's that. Okay, I thought maybe you had to cut them up in the rags. Maybe not. I can't believe I'm cleaning. The mirror is clean. I can see my reflection. I don't think I'll need my... I don't think I'll need my clothes again. Okay. I can see myself clearly in the mirror. Perfect conditions to take a picture of my own reflection. Very nice. <laughs> Take the selfie. Maybe this will serve as an inspiration for me. Not quite. And then what about that? Maybe this will serve me as an inspiration to me. The painting's finished. It turned out wonderful. It shows me hitting Professor Sigma over the head with my painting. <laughs> What's that? Ambulant. Oh, I remember my ambulance. I haven't seen it in ages. Mother hid it from me back then. But I love this piece of jewelry more than anything. All these memories. I can't believe it. I'm overjoyed. There you go, horrible thing. I've completed your mission. Have I? I feel better than ever. Take this as proof. Wonderful. I'm glad to hear that. But I thought I thought you wanted me to use the knife to uh Did you want to do that? Of course not. What do you want? Why are you holding me captive? I want you to say goodbye to the others. Ah, uh, why? Okay. Bid them farewell. Does that mean I finally get... Does that mean I can finally get out of here? Do I have to give him back his camera? I may still need it. Alright, let's just talk to him. Tomoko, can you hear me? It's time. I'm leaving all of this. 
Do you think we'll be able to see each other again? Oh. What do you mean? Oh. And he took his camera. Just like that. And the camera's gone too. Her camera. That is a great, great sprite work, I have to say. I was talking to this asshole, I guess. Can you hear me? I'm leaving all of this. Farewell. Hope to never meet you again. He vanished. And he took his paintbrush with him. It's only me and the horrible thing. Take back your knife. I did it. Wonderful. I said goodbye. I'm ready to go. You think you're ready to go? I disagree. You're not going anywhere ever again. Whoa. What? That you said, I told you to say goodbye to the others. No more and no less. <laughs> what? Why are you keeping me here? I already told you. I am you, you are me. We belong together. We're supposed to be together. We are one. Uh... Okay. Let me go home. No, this ain't my home. Please end all this. Uh... Do I have to figure something out? Will that do anything? I've got an idea. I don't know if it's going to work. I don't have any other options. If you're right. Oh. Oh no. She's the one who gave me the no Oh god. Either you let me leave or you're going with me. Oh. I can't believe this. Opened Maw. Ooh, the artwork in this game is really good. Not yet? Is there something I'm supposed to do first? That makes me think that there's something I need to do. Whoops. Is there a whole other way to go? I guess we're just gonna go. Am I supposed to... I kinda wanna see what this does. My plan worked. I don't need a knife any- oh, okay. Alright then. I'm outie. How do you know that's gonna lead... How do you know that's gonna lead out? Did it work? Ugh. Alright, so... The way I'm interpreting this story is that she was probably... Probably in purgatory. That and there was probably some really horrible things going on with the professor and her. Maybe he took advantage of her. That's what I'm thinking. Uh, I would definitely like to hear people's suggest uh, uh, ideas of what that story was actually about. But as a point-and-click game, it was actually really fun. I really do enjoy these point-and-click games. Is there anything past that? Yeah, no, the fact that it gives you an, uh, an option to leave or not makes me think there's more to do. And the game closes. Well, anyway, I hope you guys had a great day. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Peace out.